Flacco, the owl who died last week after crashing into a building, may inspire change that saves other birds. People have been leaving flowers, portraits, and notes at the base of the owl's favorite tree in Central Park. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch reports on the imprint he left on the city and the legislation to keep other birds safe. From this very tree, he loved to hoot. Flacco first captivated New Yorkers last February after his assisted escape from the Central Park Zoo. Stella Hamilton tracked his every move. He's a very powerful owl. He's a character. He has so much confidence. Sadly, news broke Friday night of Flacco's demise. A collision with a building on West 89th ended his epic life in the Big Apple. Not unusual, according to Jessica Wilson, executive director of New York City Audubon. She says collisions with buildings, one of the leading causes of death for birds in the city and nationwide. There are two causes of collisions, glass and lights at night. The light disorients them, confuses them, makes them more susceptible to collisions with windows. To turn Flacco's tragedy into triumph for all birds who call New York City home, Wilson and Senator Hoylman Siegel announced a renewed push for two pieces of legislation sitting in committee in Albany. We can do better, set new standards so that these types of preventable bird strikes don't have to happen. The Bird Safe Buildings Act, now renamed the Flacco Act, would require government buildings to use materials that have been demonstrated to reduce these types of collisions. The Dark Skies Protection Act aims to reduce light pollution by requiring outdoor lighting be covered or limited to certain hours. Birds require dark skies, clean air, clean parks, just like humans do. And when you protect birds, you make the city more sustainable and resilient for New Yorkers as well. Making it more likely, stories like Flacco's will continue to delight and amaze the masses for generations to come. From Central Park, Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News.